Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Yet again, we have more leaked photos of Jazzwares figures. This time, we're getting a leaked photo of an environmental set. These have been a little controversial in the past with some of the uh, more recent waves, but this time it's looking like we're actually getting something new. This is the City Street environmental set, and even though the photo is just a little grainy, a little blurry, we can see pictured in here a Trubbish with a Magnemite. There's a nice like street lamp in there and what looks to possibly be some sort of like apartment balcony or something of that sort. This looks really good to me. Uh, that one's gonna, if I can find it, that'll be a must buy for me. And I hope we keep getting more of these like unique environments rather than just some repaints. Or maybe we got variations of the same set. So like maybe this city set, you know, we get like part further down the street or something like that. And then we could like connect them all. That would be really cool. In this set of leaked photos, we also got to see a re-release of the Snowy Glacier set, but this time we're getting different Pokemon inside of the pack, which is definitely, uh, it's a move by Jaswares. Additionally, there's like this sliver of a photo. I don't know why it's a sliver, but it is. But in this, we can see a part of a set that we've gotten in the past, but now we're getting a variation of it. It's the forest environment set. We got the like regular green one, which I'm gonna guess is like the summertime one. We're about to get the pink one, which would be the springtime one. And now we have this autumn variation with the brown leaves. The text is a little grainy on it, but on there you can see that it's gonna be Eevee and Turtwig in there. So, I mean, they're betting a lot, I think, on just having unique figures to these things, but I don't know, I think we're kind of tired of seeing the same set every single time. I don't know, that's my opinion. Down in the comments, you let me know your thoughts. Personally, I went out hunting this past weekend to see what I could find, and uh, honestly, didn't find too much, but I did go to Target and found a couple things. I was actually able to finally find the Flygon on the shelves, so that was really fun to see. That figure is actually looking fantastic. So if you picked one up, great pickup. Uh, and also, there was a ton of Toxtricities, which made me feel really bad that nobody is buying the Toxtricities. But I don't know. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't buy it either. Additionally, we did see the Evolution lines for Cinderace and for Luxray. I really wanted to pick these up, but they have that the, the metallic paint on it. So just a heads up, that is part of those figures if you're going to try to pick those up. And as I made my way across the entertainment section over to the other section where there's cards and other stuff and Pokemon, my target's weird. I was going through the video game section and found these. There was this really nice display that looked like nobody had touched it yet, but there's Evolution plushies on there. And there's a couple other of the Jazz Wars figure sets. So I hadn't seen those plushies before, so wanted to bring them up. Maybe you've seen them before. I don't know. Let me know if those are new. Also, last week we got a load of new Mega sets that were revealed. First up, we've got the Grass-type Trainer Collection. There's four different Pokemon in here. There's including Bulbasaur, Hoppip, Oddish, and Turtwig. And I really wish that uh, Turtwig looked different than what they decided to release. There's also this upcoming two-pack of Squirtle and Cubone. And then there's like a whole bunch of new, like, full-on play sets that are coming. First up, we're going to take a look at this Ferris Wheel set. This is really cool. So inside you're going to have the Ferris wheel and it's going to come with Munchlax, Meowth, Sprigatito, and Paldean Whooper. In addition, there's also the Aquatic Adventure set. This one's going to include Psyduck, Finneon, and Squirtle, which I really want a Psyduck one of these. I think that'd be really cool. And those two sets, they should be able to connect to this third one, which is the Training Stadium, which comes with a Halucha. I definitely need a Halucha. There's also a Machop, Eevee, Pikachu, and Fue Coco, and all of these connect together and they got the little motion lever thing on there, spin that around, and everything starts activating. So this thing's gonna be like wild if you get all of them connected. I don't know, I'm kinda interested now that I've said all this. In the Funko Rumor Mill, we've got rumors around the next wave of Funko Pops. Supposedly, word on the street is that we're gonna be getting Zorura, Gengar, and Fue Coco, which I think kinda tracks based on some of like the the or upcoming releases that we're getting there's like a popular pokemon in there maybe like a little bit of a niche one and then a starter which we were supposed to be getting sprigatito here soon so fue coco kind of makes sense so it all tracks and not th there's that so that's probably gonna be down in the future there's also gonna be a more recent release which we saw in a barnes and noble link which we saw in a barnes and noble leak that'll include blaziken sprigatito and teddy ursa so I'm looking forward to all of these, especially that Blaziken. I think that's gonna be just sick. But I do love Sprigatito and Fue Coco as well, so I don't know. Let me know your favorites if you're collecting these things down in the comments. Last week, as predicted, Jazzwares released the 
Dragonite and Meryl Squishmallows over on Pokemon Center. And surprisingly, they didn't sell out immediately. It was pretty quick though. Regular versions of these should be hitting retailers like Walmart, GameStop, and Target here uh, probably pretty soon. But these exclusive Pokemon Center ones have the little Pokeball embroidery on their like back hip, we'll say. I don't know if Squishmallows have hips. But honestly, Jazzwares has done a pretty good job at keeping these in stock and in rotation. If you wanted them, hopefully you got them. But if not, there's a decent chance you might be able to get them in the future. But speaking of Pokemon Center, Pokemon Center dropped a just an amazing set last week, a whole collection of summer goods. This is the Lazy Summer Collection. And just seriously, looking at this thing, it's a vibe, man. They've got t-shirts, there's tank tops in there. Uh, there's like visor hats. There's just, it's a very vibrant collection, which is not typically my style, but I just love the colors all together. Like it's so good. The Pokemon were drawn by artist James Turner, who's apparently done a lot of work in the past with Pokemon on different projects. In the collection, there's also things like beach balls, and there's just absolutely no way that the Jigglypuff beach ball wasn't trying to reference that infamous Pokemon episode with the Jigglypuff as seen from above. There's no way that that wasn't like, no, somebody didn't think about that, you know what I mean? Like, that was intentional. There's also other beach accessories in the collection, like towels. There's also uh, plates and cups for the party that you're probably having on the beach. There's also this really cool looking backpack. There's a folding chair. I think my only gripe with the collection were the pull floats because, I don't know, something about them just isn't grabbing me compared to some of the past ones that we've had. But still, I like them. And now that I say all that, I do think the slow poke would actually be pretty fun, but I don't know. I'm hyped on this one. I think they did a great job with this collection. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Over on the Japanese side of things, we're getting some Moncali figures. We've got these two coming up in June. We've got Crocolore and Quaxwell. We recently just got the Floragato on 420. And for some reason, these two other Paldean starters in their second evolutions are coming out a little bit later. Great looking figures though. Also in June, Takara Tomy is going to be bringing us this Charizard plush, but it's not just a plush. You can actually squeeze its thighs is what it looks like. Squeeze its thighs and it'll flap its wings. And it does seem that it uh, like each wing is controlled separately by each thigh. I don't know why I'm putting so much emphasis on the thigh thing. Then Remint, makers of some of my favorite figures, is coming out with two new collections. These two are coming out in August. First up on August 12th, we've got Little Tale of the Forest. This collection is just, like, I love the imagination on these things, seriously. Like, they do such a great job. But uh, the Pokemon you might find in a forest or maybe like a grassy area adjacent to a forest seem to be kind of the theme here. But that Starly and Shroomish, like, I don't know. Those are really fun. Those, like, very nice. Then a couple weeks later on August 26th, we're going to be getting the Circular Diorama Collection featuring these really cool, the, the circle around them is like almost like their environment. Like just again, the imagination on these things, man, just so good. Overall, incredibly solid choice of Pokemon here as well, at least for my taste in Pokemon. So I'm definitely gonna be considering importing these and both collections, you can get the whole thing for under like 40 bucks, like pretty, like pretty good steal. So if you do wanna pick those up, I'll have links to those and anything else I can down in the description for you. Maybe you want to pick something up for yourself, the collection, or you know, you're strapped to, for ideas and you're trying to figure out what to buy someone as a gift. I got you. I do need to figure out how to get these figures though. Over in China, Funism is just knocking it out of the park. This company, like, so good. I brought them up in the past, but uh, now they're coming out with some Paldean starter figures. These figures seem to be maybe like a little bit more of a tame design for Funism, but still just looking at them, something about them, I'm just like, these are quality figures. They just look so good in the photos. So now instead of Japan, I need to figure out how to import things from China. In video game news, over on Scarlet and Violet, we're gonna be getting another free Pokemon distribution. This time it's gonna be a Gyarados. The Gyarados is gonna be based off of a top ranking Singaporean player. And the code is gonna be released later this month during the Asia Championships. So hopefully we'll have a little bit more details on that. But let me know, do you guys, do you guys like these distributions? Back in the day, like we used to get, uh, you know, like a story or something, or there were more like legendaries. I know a lot of people always love getting free shinies, but I think there's like, it's pretty cool to be able to get like competition ready Pokemon. I think there's something to be said there. Seems like Pokemon's really been trying to boost participation in the, the, the meta, like the championships, you know, the battles. I don't know, let me know. But speaking of free Pokemon, this weekend we got the code for a flutter main based on the 2023 south korean senior division cup champion shin yao myung we got the code right up here 
transparently i'm feeling this just a little bit early so whatever the code is it's here and probably you're going to need to move quick you probably only have a couple days to redeem it so the uh, expiration date also somewhere here on the screen for you but it's a free pokemon so go boot up scarlet and or violet go get the code in hurry i'm going to go do that i'm going to tell you about the pre-release promos for Twilight Masquerade. This is the upcoming set coming out on May 24th in the Pokemon TCG. Looks like the four cards we're getting are going to be Thwacky, Infernape, Frostlass, and Tatsugiri. Again, the set releases on May 24th, but these promos are actually going to be starting May 11th. They're going to be available to us at different like competition events at local game shops. Participate and you should be able to get yourself some build and battle kits with those promos inside. And man, I'd really love it if you participated in the next video as we go through the week and get all of our Pokemon news. So hit that subscribe button so you see when the next video comes out and hit the like button on your way out too. Share it with a friend. Also, I mean, we, we all got friends that are into Pokemon. Share it with a kid, grandma, I don't know. Anybody who needs some more Pokemon in their life. As always, thank you guys very much. Take care of each other out there and I'll see you very soon on the next one.